Hey guys, what's up today? We got a pretty common example from calculus textbook. It says a wrench 30 centimeters long lies along the positive y-axis and grips a bolt at the origin. A force is applied in the direction of this vector, 0, 3, negative 4, at the end of the wrench. Find the magnitude of the force needed to supply 100 newton meters of torque. So torque, by definition, is a radial vector. So the, the distance away from wherever the rotation happens, which is the radial vector, and then the force applied, so radial vector cross product with the force vector. That's the definition of torque. However, geometrically, if we take the magnitude, we know that the cross product, if we take the magnitude of the cross product, that's just the magnitude of the vectors times the sine of the angle between them. So, if we look at our example here, we write, draw the wrench along the positive y-axis. So this is a 3D direction, but we really only have it in the positive y-axis, and we only, our force only has y and z components, so we'll just draw this in a 2D sense in the y-z plane. If it were in three dimensions, we'd have to do it a little differently, but uh, we could do that in a different example. So this one's just in two dimensions, basically, so we're going to do it as a 2D example. So now we get our force acting on the tip of the wrench, and our force should go 3 over in the y direction and 4 down in the z direction. So our force is going to go this direction when we apply it at the end of the wrench. And the wrench, the radial vector, is going from the origin out to, and this is 0.3 meters. So 0.3 meters is the magnitude of r. So magnitude of r is 0.3 meters. Magnitude of f is unknown. So that's what we're wanting to find. This is our goal. So this is what we want to find. All right, so now what can we do? Well, the first thing we can do is we can redraw this force vector down here coming out of the origin so that it makes more sense. So it's going over 3. So it goes over 3 and down 4. So 3 and down 4. So now the angle between them is what we want to know. So this angle theta, the angle between our vectors, is what we want to know. So with that we can get the sine of that angle. So here's our r vector and here's our force vector. Well sine of theta would be negative 4 over something. Well this is going to be the square root by the Pythagorean theorem, this leg of our, the magnitude of this vector is a 9 plus 16. So this is going to equal square root of 25, which is 5. So sine of theta is going to be the opposite, which is negative 4 over 5. However, it's not really negative because this is an acute angle right here between these two vectors. So we don't really keep the negative sign. So that's not really important because the angle here is between 0 and pi always between two vectors. So sine of theta between these two is 4 fifths. Now we can plug this in. We got our torque. Our torque is supposed to be 100 newton meters, or at least our magnitude of our torque should be 100 newton meters. Our radial vector magnitude is 0.3. Our magnitude of force is unknown. And our sine theta is 4 fifths. Now this is pretty straightforward. We can solve for the magnitude of f. Multiply by 5, we get 500 divided by 4, so 125 divided by 0.3. So the magnitude of the force that we need is 1250 over 3 newtons. That's it.